Hi, and welcome to Hoffman's Hot Seat. I'm Tom Hoffman with One to One Media, and we're here at the SAS Global Forum in Seattle, Washington. And I'm joined today by SAS Senior Vice President and Chief Marketing Officer Jim Davis. Jim, thanks for joining me today. My pleasure, Tom. Today we'll be talking about trends in social media analytics and the type of factors that are driving this. And so, Jim, I thought to start, what are you hearing from customers in terms of some of the trends that are driving their use of social media analytics? Well, what's interesting, Tom, right now is there's probably more of an awareness around it um, as opposed to them actually doing something with it. They all know that to date, 5% uh, of the data out there is structured, and they've pr been dealing primarily with structured data analysis. There's, there's an awakening to the other 95% that are out there, um, in particular things around uh, blogs, uh, PR Newswire type things, um, RSS news feeds, Twitter feeds, Facebook um, activity. And folks recognize that there's a lot of valuable information that's, that's in the social media or the unstructured data. And now folks are just thinking about what do I do uh, to take that on and how can I potentially incorporate that into my business activities. How, what are some of the uh, things you're hearing from customers in terms of how they're trying to the type of functionality they're looking for to try and harness some of the value in social media. Yeah, I think I think it comes in steps or phases, and I think we're we're in phase one right now. So the first is, how do we gain an awareness of what's out there? We all know it's there. We all know that people are talking about our our, our companies. So the first step is let's bring it together. Let's identify the sources. A lot of people are using things like web crawlers to go out and identify uh, the sources of information. Uh, let's bring it together and let's start to look at trends over time, things like uh, a sentiment around the products or sentiment around the brand. So I think I would classify where we are as phase one and it's a measurement phase. We're not necessarily taking action on the information, but we're just getting our hands around it. You know, recognizing that this is new territory for so many customers, are, are there certain best practices that you'd identify in terms of what some customers are doing to try and leverage their use of social media analytics? Yeah, I, it, it's, it's more vision at this point than anything else. So I, I think, in my opinion, this is where it's headed. We're all going to get to the measurement phase. We're going to understand what our sentiment is over time, uh, around, again, around our products and around our brand. And then once we realize that there are dips occurring, we're going to want to drill down into that information, determine the sources. And then what we're going to want to do is look at how do we put campaigns together uh, to go after uh, those, those uh, dips in the data, if you will, um, so that we can raise the level up. There's, so that's one. What, that's brand association. The other best practice that's going on is let's recognize that, that the people out there that are using social media are really influencers in the sales of my products. Let's identify who they are. Let's identify who they respond to. Who are they interacting with? And let's, again, potentially put marketing campaigns together, one-to-one -to -one marketing campaigns, whether it's one-to-one -to, -one to an individual or to uh, an influencer company. Let's put campaigns together and see if we can't move the needle a little bit. Right. I'd be interested to know, what are your peers telling you, other chief marketing officers, in mm -hmm. terms of the types of things that they're wrestling with with respect to trying to utilize social media and, and data analysis around it? Yeah, I think uh, if we look at what SAS is doing with social media analytics, I think that's a tool that's going to be welcomed uh, to that crowd. I, I know that I suffer from this. All of us who are chief marketing officers, uh, we spend a lot of money on, on marketing products. We spend a lot of money on uh, maintaining our brands and advancing our brands. Um, and it's always what's the return on that and what's the effect. And we all are realizing that social media is having an effect. And if we can show the effect, uh, that social media has on our campaigns and our brands, it helps justify uh, the amount of money we're spending. To move, and now we can show that by spending the money and putting programs in place, we can move the needle in the, in the appropriate direction. So what it, it's doing, Tom, is really building some, some much needed transparency into the, into the marketing department and the CMO's activities. And how, how it may be applied to things like um, trying to measure return on customer and, and some common approaches like that. Yeah, and that's, that's always been a bit vague. You know, it's been really easy to, to measure cost of sale, if, if you're, uh, uh, particularly if you're in the B2B business. You know, you've got a product, you've got a sales cycle, what's that costing? But what, what's all the air cover costing? Right. And the air cover is not just print advertising and, and trade shows and events. It's now what, what am I doing also in terms of social media. Great. Well, Jim, thanks for sharing your time with us today. That's my pleasure. Thank you, Tom. Thank you.